Another thing that Bill mentioned yesterday is how important jazz is and how it makes you feel. Well, why does it make you feel so good? Why does music make you feel so good? Um, I mean, I, I, there are a million answers to that, but when I was working at Lawrence Livermore, which is a nuclear laboratory in, in, uh, in Los, in, um, up near San Francisco, I was working there for years, uh, we used to have these meetings uh, where we would look at all the different programs that Lawrence Livermore had. And I gotta tell you, man, it's the most eye-watering experience you can ever have. Femto laser peening at low neutron flux of... Man, I mean, I'm telling you, after two days of this, you just wanna slash your wrist or shoot yourself. So, the director said, you know what? After two days of this, we're gonna have somebody give a talk. Well, one of the guys that was on the laser advisory team with me, it was funny, the, uh, the director said, I want two guys. I want a Grammy winner, and I want a Nobel Prize winner, and I want to put them on the same team. So I guess I was the Grammy winner. And Charlie Towns, does anybody know who Charlie is? Charlie won the Nobel Prize for inventing the laser. Very, very interesting guy, very laid back guy. He also wrote a book called the, about the connection between theoretical physics and God. And he then got up and gave an hour presentation about the connection between theoretical physics and God. And I got to tell you, it changed my life. I mean, I'm not here to preach Christianity or religion. It's just made me realize after breaking the problem down into what is reality, what are we made of, where do we come from, et cetera, et cetera, <clears throat> into a set of finite pieces and resynthesizing him, he came up with the idea that the human spirit is a, as a set of co coherent oscillations. Now, any of you who have taken any physics know that the glue that holds the universe together, for everything from subatomic particles to the planets, to uh, solar systems, to stars, to galaxies, to cl galaxy clusters, has to do with vibration and frequency. That is the name of the game. So he said, I think the human spirit is this concept of coherent oscillations. And I said, Charlie, that's what music is. Coherent oscillations, this string, vibrating with this string, and vibrating with this string, and this one, in a set of coherent oscillations. And he said, skunk, you got it. That's the secret to the universe. Why does music touch us so deeply? It's because the molecules that are made up of the atoms very simple, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, that make up our bodies are glued together by different frequencies. Now, you're going to say to me, well, that's a little weird. Well, let me, let me help you understand it, because you, as a human being, are as a very sophisticated sensor package. <clears throat> vibration starts from no vibration all the way down a linear path to pure energy. Einstein talked a little bit about that when he came up with the equation Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Um, well, how do you know that? <clears throat> well, have you ever felt a rumble that you can't hear, but you feel it? So there's part of your body is telling you that there's a vibration. You can't hear it, but you can feel it. Next, it goes on to the part about 20 cycles per second up to about 20,000 cycles per second. Actually, about 17 for men, about 20,000 for women. That's why women like Michael McDonald and Frank Sinatra, because they don't have a lot of high frequencies in their voices. It's a little tidbit. So, and then it disappears. Then the only, the only beings that can hear above 20,000 cycles are dogs. Their hearing is attuned slightly higher. But then even that goes away. So all of a sudden you're running down this linear progression and it stops. And then all of a sudden your skin starts to feel warm. Now we're in the infrared, heat. Now the vibrations are getting faster and faster and we feel the heat and the vibrations get so fast that it turns to color. If I strike this string, this, that's A440, below middle C. That means that this string vibrates 440 times per second. Now if I take the number 440, multiply it times 10 to the 23rd power times Planck's constant, which is a very spooky little number, you get the color green because the vibe, what we're talking about is super harmonics, going higher and higher into the frequency spectrum. And as the pitch gets higher, it goes past where you can hear and then goes 
someplace else. After the visual, it goes into the ultraviolet, and then we start to get into gigahertz, radars, radio waves. Super harmonics, very simple. This is A440. What's this? A880. What's this? A1620. What we're doing is we're doubling the harmonics until finally we get to a point where we can't hear it. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So what Charlie is saying, Charlie Towns is saying, that we are all coherent vibrations on a linear scale from zero to light, or to pure energy, actually. And that's why music moves us, because the molecules of the atoms and the subatomic particles that make up our bodies are held together with vibration. Why do you think they call it the blues? Why do you think they call it the blues? Well, it's a pentatonic scale for one thing. Now when you play the notes in those scale, if you start to look at the super harmonics that the pentatonic scale creates, damn, blue, what's going on here? Well, <clears throat> power of music. Um, let's see, did anybody know what the devil's interval is? You could be burned at the stake for playing this thing. Now, I'll play this for a couple of seconds and you tell me when you can't stand it anymore, okay? Had enough? Why have you had enough? Because there are no even harmonics anywhere generated in this two note chord. Now, there's a guy named uh, um, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach that wrote something called Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor, which you've all heard a million times, you know. You've heard that in every vampire movie or Dracula movie you've ever seen. But when that piece of music was performed, he should have waited till the end of the church service because they burned the church to the ground right afterwards. Scared the hell out of everybody. Why? because he used the devil's interval. So Igor Stravinsky goes, oh yeah, love that. <laughs> Wrote the Rite of Spring. Well, when they performed that, they looted six blocks of downtown Paris. Again, scared the hell out of everybody. So the power of music, the power of vibration, the power of frequency, is what it is, the, is what music and how music touches us. Anyway, so 